I'll just tank it. Let's see how much damage we can do. Look at this. It's so crazy. Don't even need minions because I'm so tanky. What are minions? What even is minions? What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to some Kuang gameplay. Now this is a Kuang Elevate build. I will just purchase my stuff and then I'll, I'll talk about it. Uh, do I want Coin Master? Who am I laning against? Yin. Maybe Belika. Maybe I take this. I feel like if I'm laning against a Belika, they might poke me. Alright, so. Let me talk about the build. I wonder what this Muriel's doing. Alright, anyways, let me talk about the build. It's basically a Godmother Vigilant, I believe is the card called. Increase max health by 15%. Increase max health by 1% per attribute point increased if and only if that is your only card equipped. So if that's my only card equipped, then, you know, we're going to be pretty fucking tanky. Um, so we're against the Yin. Maybe, uh, may oh, we're against Yin Kuang. Interesting. Oh, could have maybe gone for my lucky, no, my other card. Oh, that's an interesting uh, first pick. Alright, well, they're pushing the wave, so that's good for me. Come on, you're not going to even shoot him, range minion? Alright, now the wave's under my tower. We good. Uh oh. Well, I mean, they, if they hit me under tower, they're in trouble. Alright, next time I'm just gonna tether one of them under the tower. Alright, well. This is interesting. A Kuang support. I think it is viable, though, to be fair. A lot of things are viable. Nice. Get that level 3. Put another point into there in a sec. Have a good amount of mana. Grab this. Oh, just missed it. Gold's coming up. But this Kwong looks like he wants me. I need to back when I get my second one, well, 2000 gold actually. Which would be oh, my third attribute point. So I can grab my all oh, my three early game items. And that'll be okay. Nice. Usually when a Kwang does that, you just step forward and it'll miss. Are you kidding me? I throw it too late, I guess. What does Kwang take first item? He didn't take a first item, so he probably got wards. Yeah, this guy is so dead. Oh, rip. Fuck, I'm dead too now. I mean, they don't have much mana. But we're right. That was interesting by the Yabellica. Nice. Oh, we can't do much here. We don't have enough damage. I mean, that was interesting by our rampage to go in like that. When uh, when you see someone with no items, you know that they bought wards first. So that they're probably going to rotate on you. Alright, going to back as soon as I get 2,000... Oh, 1,000 gold. Oh my god. Lost hits. There we go. Just killed the range here so it de-pushes. Alright, grab this, and then I can grab my Coin Master and Exoskeleton, which should give me more gold and a bit more tanky, so let's see how that goes. And we're going to hit level 5 as well, which means that we can go in on the Yin once our Rampage rotates or if the Kuang leaves her.
Oh, he didn't go in, want to go in on that? Alright. Well, he doesn't have ult, so I'm fine. Just stay close to the minion so I hit level 5. A gank would be nice here because I'm level 5. There we go, level 5. Nice. Let's attack left lane rampage. Come on. Where's that Yin at? Come on, let's attack left lane. Come on, rampage. I believe in you. Oh, he's not five yet, though. Got him. Careful, Rampage! Oh, fuck. Gotta dodge the dagger here. Oh, touched it. Nice. We got a kill. Good job. That was worth. Gonna recall here. Be careful, Bellica. If she gets hit by the rock, she might die. Oh, no, she didn't get hit. I'm on my way. Come on, mana, 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 mana. She landed a good knock up. Oh, almost got it. Come on, quick exit. Let's go, baby. He's not five, so it's fine. I don't know. I was just guessing that he was up there or something. I wasn't sure. Man, my last hitting's been poor. Let's grab some jungle here, I guess. The wave is pushed up. I'm not sure if they want to switch, but I, I don't mind going into a Kalari, honestly. But letting Wukong split push is also a good thing. Let's grab my Q here. What the fuck? Don't have mana for this, really. Alright, we did some good damage there. Let's just keep putting points into this. The entire health. We still have a Muriel ult. She has some aura that's giving me health, I think. There's a fuck. No, Muriel. You don't have rip. That's a rip, Muriel. We can get these guys. Oh, he's gonna just ult. Oh, this is such a messy fight. That drone's wrecking me. Let's go. There's no drone now. Don't have any mana for much, really. He missed the rock. Just back off. Nothing we can really do here. I thought the Muriel had more mana than she did. I don't know if it's worth her even staying in lane. If she has no mana, I would just instantly recall. But maybe the Bellica drone drained all the mana. She oh, she's only level 4. That's not good. Alright. Let's grab this. Let's 
go do this jungle camp here. I'm trying to want the Yin to come forward towards the tower so I can just combo her. But I don't think I have enough mana to use the entire combo. I'm fine tanking it because I have lifesteal. Oh, why would you run away from me, minion? Alright, let's grab our right mouse button here. They're recalling Yin still there, though. Uh, careful, careful rampage. So the mirror has ult, right? So we should be okay. Ah, the Yin's only like six last hits ahead of me. Not even that bad. I might rotate with these to help these guys out. Good root, good ult. There's a stealth buff here. Ooh, he just gets out. Got him. Alright, let's defend left. If we can. I don't know. That might have cost me the left tower. Oh, no. It's fine. The wave just meets. Alright, so we got a kill. Well, two kills now. Managed to burst down the rampage and defend this tower. She might be able to get it here. Oh, no. She backed off. I'm fine tanking it because I'm going to go back soon. I don't want to tank it too much, actually. Level 2 ult. It's just what I need. Let me go for my minions. There we go. Okay, going to push one more wave. So we're just going to put all our points into vitality until we can get Godmother, really. And then just keep going until we hit 25 points in vitality. And then we're going to put the rest of our points into uh, agility. The reason we obviously, I mentioned earlier, but elevate cards only work if that's your only card equipped. Like you get the bonus, like you get this bonus by default, the 15% increase on your max health, but the elevate effect only works if you have that as your only card. So what I'm going to do is I've got seven, so I'm going to sell lucky block and I'm going to grab this to amplify my healing. We're now only 1000 gold away from being able to have like 3.1k health. It's pretty ridiculous. And the reason I have only uh, these cards for my mid game is because we can only put points into Vitality. And these are actually the only Vitality cards that like only cost Vitality. A lot of the other cards cost other attribute points and that would just delay our build. We can't really afford that. Alright, let's uh, grab our Q here again. I'm going to check if the gold's up. I doubt it, but it's worth checking. There's a Rampage and a Yin. Pop is green. Enemy is stealth. Alright, we be a bit careful then. Because that Rampage has ult. Maybe if the Wukong rotate. Oh, I see two people left. I mean, right. But the Kalari ult could wreck us. My shields. This is basically letting us Wukong do Raptors. Oh, Wukong do Raptors for free. Just by keep applying pressure in this lane, they're not going to check. Got her. We need to back off. Oh, well, we can soak. Oh, I love my way. Oh, she ran the smart way. Oh, I think she's out. Okay, never mind. Oh, that Kalari is pushing our tier two. Oh, Kong got it. Nice. All right, we got a good pick. I'm going to go back, actually, because I want to get my... Uh, my godmother card, but... Let's deep push this so we can keep the tower. You can see just how long I kept my tower for though. 
Huang is pretty strong. Oh my god, she juked it, she just turned left. It was bad, man. Where's that Huang on? Oh, let's get this. Come on, someone do damage! Nice, good job. Don't say I don't ever give you anything, Kane. Just handed that kill for you on a platter, mate. Alright, get this tower here. And I'm definitely going back. Gonna put the rest of my points into vitality. And now you guys are gonna see just how insane this build becomes. We were already quite tanky in that fight. We had Muriel shields. We have amplified healing. But now, we're gonna sell everything. Everything is going. And we're getting Godmother. 3.2k health. And with Kwang, we get that passive lifesteal. We've also got lifesteal in the agility gem. But that's, you know, a lot further down the line. That's a lot more late game. But you see, no one's going to be able to burst us down. You know, it's going to take at least two or three people to deal with us, I think. From what I've experienced with this build. So uh, just clear this jungle and then we're gonna go back to lane. All right, max my Q here. I'll just talk quickly about my gems once I get back to the lane, so you guys can see exactly why I'm using certain gems and why they complement this build. So if we look at the gems here, we got quick exit so we can run to lane. But then we have mana reactor, restore one mana for every six damage taken. Now why is this good? Okay, we have a lot of health, right? So when they do damage to us, we just gain mana back. Huang is very, very mana heavy. And we want to be able to use our abilities as much as possible because that's our damage. That's the most, that's like the bulk of where our damage is coming from. Like, we're not hitting fast because we're not putting points into agility. So we're relying on our ability to do most of that damage. And if we can get mana back, well, we're going to be able to spam our abilities, right? And because we have a lot of health, we're always going to be getting a lot of mana back. So it just makes the build really, it just complements the build a lot. Then we have damage return in our next gem, which makes us pretty tanky. Um, and then we have ferocity, gain up to 40 attack speed based on your missing health. So like the lower we get, the harder and faster we're going to hit. Actually going to check if the gold is up. It's not. And then finally we get improved health regeneration, which is basically just an insane amount of health regen. Keep putting points into you. And then uh, in the agility gem, I have lifesteal just so that we can maintain our health pool when we're in fights. Good pick. Level 3 ult. So what I'm going to try and do is tether him and then use my right mouse button. Got him. I could tank that tower all day as well. I'm super tanky. That ram, no one can deal with me in a 1v1 situation. So him even being there was kind of like, uh, what are you doing? You can fight me, Wukong. I mean, Kwong, but I'm gonna win. That's what I thought. Like, almost full mana, I, and I just used my entire kit to combo. I didn't mean to KS that. Come on, let's go, Ian. Let's go! Oh, we don't want to get stunned like that. That's not good. Oh, our Muriel's here. Mm, we could go in on this, but I want to wait for my ult to bait her a bit. No! Come on, let's go then. 
Alright, we do need to be a bit careful here. Oh, Wukong is crazy though. Let's just get out. Let's retreat. Alright, well, you can see we're pretty tanky. We took a lot of knockouts. We took a lot of damage from the Yin and we did pretty well. So I'm liking how tanky we've become. We can just clear some of the jungle. Uh, pretty close to getting our improved health regen, which is going to just help a lot with our sustain. Back to full mana already after a fight. Pretty sick. So, put a point into that. Ooh, stealth. See what we can find. Oh, that's unfortunate. Try and burst this guy down. He doesn't have ult, right? Nice, good job, good job. Manages to get him down. I... I didn't do that much damage, obviously, because I'm a tanky guy, but we got the kill in the end. Uh, no, my tower. Oh, are we going to save it? Yes, we are. Nice. Okay, Wukong's got it. I think they should let me play. Oh, she got the tower. I'm just going to push now. Let's get some mana back. Tank this wave. Yes, hit me minions. Feed me mana. Got a big wave here. An angry teddy. It's about to be a dead teddy if he stays. Yes, give me mana. Give me mana. Oh, she blinked. I should have seen that sooner. That's actually my bad. Nice. Look how tanky I am. Hello. Hello. Hi, Kalari. Oh. But, uh, I'm here. Oh, baby, a double. Okay, Yin's here. No! Not like this, Kane. Got him. I'm so tanky, it's unreal, I'm full health still. Fuck your damage, Belica. Fuck your drone as well, I don't need it. Nice, she just gave me a load of mana back from dealing damage to me. That drone needs to die though, actually. Otherwise, I'm gonna have no mana. Come on, drone, expire already. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna help them in mid. Good rock. Nice. I'll just tank it. Let's see how much damage we can do. Look at this. It's so crazy. Don't even need minions because I'm so tanky. What are minions? What even is minions? Look at that. And now, what? 5,600 health? Jesus Christ. It's... I love this build so much. It's like you're unkillable, you win every 1v1. They can't like not they can't do anything to me. Unless I like run in one versus five, then I'll probably die. But you know, that's to be expected. Back to full mana again. Oh yeah, she's got the thing. Get this. Come here. Come here.
No! Got him. I should have killed the Yin. I was just hesitating on my ult for no reason. Oh, well, the Bellica died, I guess. I'm coming, Kane. Don't run away from me. He has a rock in his hand. Had to dodge that. No! Got him. I'm just so tiky, it's unreal. Holy shit. Not even close, boys. Damn right, Kane. Wow, this build is actually sick. Oh, we're gonna win. GG, holy shit, that was a lot of fun. That build is so much fun. It's just so stupid that you can use one card. I, what, used four cards in the entire game and that you could be that tanky? They just can't deal with you. 11-0-3. And I never felt at any point that I was going to die. Maybe when that Rampage rocked me at the end and the Yin, but I misplayed that because I should have killed the Yin ages ago. I was just holding on to my ult for way too long. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave a link to the build in the description below because I bet a ton of you are going to want to play this before it gets nerfed. Smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed, subscribe for all the latest Paragon content, and until next time guys, peace.